What's going on guys? We are back with another video here and this video is all of the NHL 22 hot news, everything you need to know right now. First of all, I gotta get a shout out to the EA Game Changer Network for giving me this opportunity to make this video. I appreciate it and uh, we have stuff to talk about. So guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Plenty of content is coming and it's gonna be coming quick, all right? So uh, we have NHL coming out on EA Play starting tomorrow. Uh, right now, we got all the hot news, though, out of the way. So now we have everything we know about NHL 22 officially. And tomorrow, the fun begins. And uh, expect from my channel, guys, I'm shooting for at least two videos per day, trying for three, definitely, per day. So right now, we're going to start off with two per day, guaranteed. Three I'm going to be trying for on most days, though. Probably the first, you know, few days will be getting tons because there's so much to make, so much to talk about. But for this video, we're going to focus on what's new in Hockey Ultimate Team. So as you can see right here, uh, we got a plan. So I'm going to give you guys the biggest breakdowns that you're going to need, all right? Everything that you're going to have to understand and know, all right? So here we go. So Clavin is talking about, of course, uh, you know, talking about, you know, thanking everybody for being a part of uh, watching these these clips and these great videos that they've made. It's been very nice that EA's actually made these. It really gives a lot more insight on the game. So the first thing that's different in NHL 22, Andrew starts talking, is HUD champs, okay? So... Right away, uh, this is something that is interesting. So we're going to talk about this a good amount, right? So kind of leak a little bit of a hot champ rewards as well. We don't really know if these are final rewards or not. Uh, these could be just kind of like just filler, right? Just kind of placeholder type things. But for hot champs, they are changing the way the rankings work. So as you can see right here on the screen, rank one, uh, it shows 2,000 hot champs points, which that's what you obviously get just to qualify every week. Uh, the ultimate choice pack, two ultimate packs, and 11 hot champion collectibles. So... Uh, if that stays in the game, there will be no hut champ item, like a specific item for each rank, right? So that's very interesting, uh, exactly what that means. And it's actually ranked by one, two, three, four as well. It's not like, I think in natural 21, I think it's between like one and then it's two to five, I, I think. And then it's six to 10, unless I'm wrong. And then 11 to 20. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of a little bit of a, of a leak. So, uh, the only extra thing is, uh, you get an ultimate pack here, but yeah, so what they change, though, is besides the top 100, it is based on your number of win rewards. So if you get 15 wins, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, if someone had 15 wins against better players than you. 15 wins is 15 wins, and you're guaranteed to get whatever it may be, right? So it says Jumbo Elite Player Pack, 7 Hut Champion Collectibles. Again, we don't really know what these Hut Champion Collectibles are going to be for. Uh, they could easily be for a way to trade in uh, other players, right? So, again, we don't really 100% have a, an answer on that, but that's uh, that's that right there. So, yeah, each win has a specific, you know, tier and, and, and packs or whatever. And again, we don't know if these are finally tuned. It goes all the way to two wins, actually, which is pretty crazy to me uh, that it goes all the way there. And, and uh, as you can see, uh, it isn't really, you know... It's not great. So hopefully they're not final and they're not tuned because these packs are really, really bad to say the least. So yeah, that's that's a big thing uh, right there, guys. Hut Champs gets completely changed right there. Uh, it's it's a huge change. And is it a good change? I think overall it is. I wish though, I really, really wish that they made it that it was, you know, top 20 was based on wins, whatever. But anyway, so squad battles. Now the other thing that's new in Nigel 22 Hut is squad battles and how they did it. So... You can actually change the length of, of how long it's going to be. You lose points, though, uh, off of that. That's the only downside, of course. But uh, you can change the period length to that. And probably the biggest W, though, of all for squad battles is the fact that uh, there is no, like, reason to rush and play your games every single day. And, like, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going to miss a refresh or anything like that. Don't worry at all about it. Uh, they're at the bottom, you can see right there, refresh opponents, eight. So all you have to do is press that X button right there, and uh, you can actually refresh the opponents uh, whenever you want. So if you, like, miss, like, I don't know, five days in a row, it doesn't matter. You could still play them all within that week, whenever you want. You could play literally 12 games or something in one day, and, and, and you're going to be still up to pace with everybody else. So there's really no... Oh, I missed it. Now this guy's going to be ahead of me. No, it's not how it's going to work, which is very, very good. That's the way it should be as well. So super, super good uh, thing there for squad battles. I mean, squad battles, again, doesn't really get the, the most love, of course. I mean, I understand. But uh, and then the other thing that was also new uh, is 
it's not a, it's a very minor thing, but uh, when you're gonna do a squad battles game, it randomizes if you're gonna be the home or away team. You used to always be on the road in squad battles actually, which is pretty odd, I guess. But yeah, that was uh, that was the other thing right there. So yeah, that was uh, the new thing in squad battles. So. Uh, the other thing that they focused on and added into NHL 22 HUT, it's an old thing that used to be in HUT back in the day. Last time I was in the, the game, I believe it was NHL 14, which is crazy to, to really think about. Because NHL 15, that's when they added the item inbox, and they actually removed this feature. It is the trade pile. So as you can see right here, you sent to the trade pile. And uh, once you send that to the trade pile, unfortunately, you can see purple is still 86, which is a little bit... Sad, it's kind of the same, but anyway, trade pile, uh, as you can see, it's uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, and uh, you have the Henrik Duclair, the Schmaltz, and you can actually compare price from this screen, which is super nice as well. Uh, it's a nice little thing that you can just do that. Uh, you have to like, go all the way back to the market and search a specific player that you just had, right, and compare it with the other price and see, oh, what do I got to sell them for? You can literally just go straight to that, and you can also relist all the expired auctions uh, for exactly what we just had up before, so very, very nice. Look, I have a little cameo, guys. Henrik, there I am, but... Yeah, overall, that's a pretty nice little feature. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not gra groundbreaking, earth-shattering type of thing, right? But, uh, yeah. So, the other thing uh, are synergies. Synergies, uh, they removed team synergies completely. Team synergies are no longer in the game at all, okay? So, team synergies are completely gone. They renamed some of them, as you can see. They made it to Protector, Bombarded, uh, Booming Shot, as you can see, Applesauce. Some funny names, no doubt, but... Um, yeah, they, they renamed some of these. There are no more team synergies. They're only player synergies. And as you can see on some of these, uh, they're not too OP, especially the speed ones. Uh, distributor is plus two speed. Uh, and some of them are just not really that crazy when it comes to like speed or whatever. And, 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 and not like ground and earth shattering stats are being affected, which is good. I think, if you want my honest opinion, I think X factors are going to be more important than synergies. Uh, in HUT this year. I feel like synergies are not going to be that important. People aren't going to be really going for synergies specifically uh, all year. I don't believe at least. So, I mean, that's pretty nice uh, how, how they really distributed it and changed uh, the way it's going to look. I, I think it's super, super good for the mode overall as a whole. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't like synergies personally at all. So, it's a good step to get rid of team synergies. I'd like them to be completely removed. But, you know, we're going to take it, you know, as we can. So, well-rounded. Fly the zone is also new. Uh, as you can see as well, it's plus two speed, plus two speed. They're really not making it worth plus three or four, that's for sure. Uh, because they don't want it to be where it's one synergy that gets all of the love. They don't want it to be like, oh, I, everyone has that synergy active. People are going to be using different synergies to see exactly what goes on. So, um, there you go, right there. Buzzing, uh, spark, and, you know, really, really just not effective increasing. Like, as you see, plus one for, for buzzing. I mean, it's not anything crazy at all it's really just not so uh yeah i mean it's 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 really really just not too op it's just not too op at all so uh i like the way they, they redid the synergies this year and hopefully they just keep it like that all right so moving on to the next thing uh it's going to be well another little thing too 89 mcdavid as well that's pretty crazy right there 89 mcdavid uh so they also made a the, a little bit of a thing to really keep in mind they give players that really don't necessarily are the best in a certain area different synergies like so they're not gonna make david a speed synergy they're gonna give him something that's like kind of like you know might not be his most effective thing so like defensive awareness ah it's kind of weird though well-rounded i mean he, he kind of he, it makes him the best player it doesn't matter but 89 mcdavid which is pretty crazy for a base car go figure that as well right but the other thing I was going to mention now uh, is the X-Factor cards and how they work and how they are uh, upgradable, all right? So X-Factor cards, basically, the way they work, it's a lot to understand for sure, but how they work, looking at them right here, uh, they start with one synergy unlocked. Uh, you can unlock another synergy, as you can see right here. This unlocks at tier 7, though. It says it's a 7 right here. And the Superstar abilities will unlock it at level uh, at tier 5 and tier 7, okay? So um, everyone has a zone ability, though. That's unlocked on every X-Factor card, even if they're at tier 1, 77 overall, 70, whatever overall they are. So that's super nice. But yeah, you can also customize your synergies, which is super cool. Uh, and to always make sure the green things mean they're upgradable to cards. So uh, you don't be kind of confused and be like, oh, what, what are upgradable and what aren't? So you'll see it right there. So that's nice, you know, get that clarity right away. So that's the key. And they're all going to cost different amounts, right? So 
Uh, you can upgrade them, certain coins. Like, so as you can see, to get the tier seven, 100K is what it would take to purchase that tier. And they're different tiers. So tier like one to two might be like 500 coins, tier two to whatever it may be. But as you can see, the tier seven, you can buy for 100K or trade in base Matthews and you can get them uh, up to 88 overall. So you could also refund it as well. So if you trade in your Matthews, you could refund it and just get the base Matthews back and the tiers go down. Or if you spend coins, you could have the back. So you get 50K back on every tier that you purchase that you want to refund. So that's important to remember, as you can see right there, refund it's 20K because yeah, and, and there's superstar abilities being unlocked. And um, yeah, exactly. So pretty nice stuff right there. I like the X-Factor cards a lot. I think they're gonna be really, really nice and hot uh, to get really your cards that you want, like your favorite players in the whole league. So I think it's a really, really nice thing to have uh, in the mode personally. So X-Factor cards are probably gonna be the best cards. They're Evo cards. They are going to be the best cards all year. So. Austin Matthews, let's put it like this. If, if Austin Matthews, he has an 88 X Factor right now. If he had like a a 90 or something like that, this will be able to be upgraded to 90 is what I'm assuming, right? These are supposed to be like Evos. They're act like Evos. They're never going to fall behind and feel like, oh, my X Factor card's 88. If there's a new Team of the Week Matthews, 92 overall, something like that, right? So that's something to, to know as well. So that's pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. So the next thing we're going to talk about are how are Icons, uh, icons going to work this year. So Icons are going to work very, very similar to how X-Factors do. So Steve Eisenman, here he is, Tier 1, Tier 2. This is we're going to be unlocked early on in the year. So they're similar to X-Factor in, in terms of you can upgrade them through tiers. Uh, they all have different starting overalls, of course. But the way that they work is... They're all going to upgrade once a month. So let's say the start of a new month. So Steve Eisenman's at 87 overall right now. I'm assuming November 1st or whatever, the first week of November, you'll be able to upgrade to tier three for 88 overall Steve Eisenman. So that's how they're going to work there. Really, really uh, cool as well. So yeah, I like how they did it this year. Instead of the worst thing with icons would always be, you have the bronze, silver, and gold. And you'd be like, oh, all right, so bronze has been out for a while. So when's the silver icon going to come out? Oh, I have to wait two weeks until Howie, Howie Marin's comes out, or I have to wait until Solani's silver comes out. You know, you know when they're all coming out now, and you can kind of be prepared and save your coins, and you have a, you have a good idea of when things are coming out, which is super super good. So I like that a lot. Uh, the next thing uh, are the ability limits. Okay, so ability limits. Basically, you can activate or deactivate a certain amounts. So there's a limit you have, right? So it's uh, 30 at least in this category. In this case, right? This could change throughout the year. Uh, again, ability point tuning, not final, so that's not even a guarantee what it's going to be. But each card has, of course, ability points, so you could activate some. You don't have to activate all of them. You I mean, you're not going to be able to because some people are going to have more than others, and it could get over 30 quicker. And, and some abilities cost more points than others, right? So Ankle, ankle, ankle Breaker costs four, as you can see, uh, compared to Whirlwind costs two. And some cost one. It, it all just depends, really. It all just depends. On top of forces, also that. So the other thing are X Factor player choice sets. So the X Factor sets, how they work. A huge thing they're really happy about this year is the fact that they have overall sets. So it's gonna make things a lot better as well. So this one as well. So don't don't go crazy. They said it also in the video. If you trade in these gold players, there's a cooldown on the set. You can't just get unlimited X Factor card and try to get McDavid and, and Matthews all day for 20 goals. That's a that would be ridiculous. But yeah, that's that's a good thing about that. So uh, yeah, you got that. Power of collectibles trade in 36 gold players, or if you trade in 18, 80 plus overall players, you can get a power of collectibles. So that's the thing that they're talking about a lot. Uh, they're gonna have an ability to if you want to trade in. Let's just say they have a set where 87 overall cards out, for instance, right? Maybe they make it trade in five 85s or 10 84s and you get the 87 overall just by trading that in. So they couldn't do that in previous years. So it's a new feature, pretty nice thing to have in. I like that a lot. I think it's super, super good. Uh, the next thing are seasonal rewards. So there's no more monthly rewards. It's not gonna be like October, November, December. It's gonna be fall, winter, spring, summer, and there's longer tier things. So it's kind of better, I'd say, uh, there's not as many like collectibles like so again you're gonna you can be able to save up your collectibles for a while so 84 x factor player choice that's 20 items so that's not too crazy 25 is a mega pack you could also redo the same one so if you wanted to do two x factors you could do that twice i think i don't, I don't, I don't think you do it more than that but you can do it like that so jumbo elite pack power of collectible pack 185 plus guaranteed power of icon choice pack which is also nice and others uh, they also added a new like re-roll type set 
going based on the overall thing. So you have the same usual ones, but this one you could also exchange eight 80 pluses and you get a guaranteed 82 plus plus 10 items, all players and at least five gold players, which is definitely nothing to laugh at. I think it's super, super solid. So, you know, that's a nice little feature as well. The overall sets are going to be really, really good, I think, and effective and, and very, very, uh, you know, well received, I'm assuming by you guys. So that's the only thing you could also trade in Jersey number and, and re-roll that. That's nothing too crazy though. So you can see the Vancouver team building sets actually. So a little bit of a leak here, actually 85 Alexander Burroughs. So the team building sets right here, if you trade in a 74, 79, uh, Vancouver Canuck item. So if you trade in 19 of those, uh, you can see right there, you get an 85 overall player item, Alexander Burroughs. Actually, so yeah, so it, it just depends. So it's, it's just based on overall, it's not the specific players. So it's it's a good thing because it's not based on, oh, I don't have Edler. I mean, I, I don't think he's on the Canucks anymore. You get the point though. <laughs> I don't have Quinn Hughes or whatever, for instance. It doesn't matter. As long as you have the overalls, it's very, very nice. I like that a lot better. I really think it's a tremendous, tremendous change instead of, you know, making like, oh, I can't find this card. And you can take hours, days, honestly, to find certain cards. So I think it's an awesome thing. I really, really do. So that's super good to see. So there's going to be also no goal collectibles in at launch. Overall requirements uh, are going to be the big thing. And the overalls can retain value over a year. So like 87 is going to be always worth it because you're going to be able to trade those in throughout the year. So essentially what I'm saying is if like a 95 comes out, what if you trade, you could maybe trade in like 10 87s or 10 88s and you can get that instead. So that's what they're looking for. Stuff like that, which is definitely very, very nice and appreciated because uh, it's always a problem of, oh, I hate trading in collectibles. It's always gold collectible, gold collectible. This year it's not. So really, really, really nice. So the skater progression uh, is also kind of the same uh, so he's talking about events now. So great events are going to be coming to the game. It's going to be similar stuff. As you can hear Nicholas here talking about it. Set requirements that are going to give the team a lot more creativity to build different types of content for events that just hopefully ends up being, you know, new and unique for players this year. The next thing we wanted to focus on was consistency and clarity and really giving players a better understanding from the beginning of the game, which items are going to be upgradable, which ones are not, and what you're going to be able to do. So you're going to know items that you were you're really going to know exactly who's so upgradable and who's not, which is super, super cool. Different types of sets available. Some that are time specific. Some sets will be out the whole year. Some will be out only for the events and stuff like that. And you'll know that. You're not, you're not going to be surprised by anything like that. He's only thrown surprises this year, which is very good. Make sure we know what we're actually getting. Because, oh, this year was really bad when in NHL 21, Team of the Season Matthews, they didn't give him a set for his MSP to trade in for his team of the season. They only did it over the weekend. I had already spent like 20 gold collectibles on something. So it's crazy. But yeah, the, the slower speed progression, these are very, very similar. Nothing really changed when it came to the progression for speed. Everyone's going to kind of upgrade the same. It says slower speed progression, but it's not not by a lot, I don't think. It's going to be kind of very similar. So yeah. So the first few events, actually, Nicholas is uh, going to go over them. Goalies are also kind of similar. So I mean, yeah, nothing crazy. The height, you'll be, you're will be you not going to be able to move as fast as you want, probably. But NHL 22 events, so he goes over them. EA uh, training camp is the first one. So let's listen in to Nicholas. And I'll give my thoughts as well. Features in the game and just help people get started in the new year. So excited for that one. Check it out right during the EA Play trial period. Next up from that, we're going to have Superstar Origins. And so this one we're really excited about. It's the first kind of themed event of the year. And what this event is all about is celebrating the origin stories of some of the biggest players in the NHL becoming superstars. So we have some exciting master items for it, which we'll show you. And those are, are amazing. Matthews, Nick Suzuki, Yarmer Yager, Seth Jones. Yager is back, boys. Yager is back in the game. You love to see that yager that's sick actually i love yager that's i gotta have this card i think i'm so excited for the first event i wonder how they, again the sets are going to be required something like that so you have matthews yager suzuki jones headman and then tuka rask so that's pretty cool I, i'm really looking forward to this what first event them become nhl superstars what will live content look like outside of events can we still expect prime times and team of the week yeah so just to tell you we will have prime times and team of the weeks back we still want to continue to cover nhl hockey and hockey happening all over the world as closely as possible we're going to have some new formatting changes for team of the week that we'll be excited to share more That's about interesting later to hear. but we also have two new types of content coming that are going to help us cover real hockey as well one is is called star of the month that's going to focus on 
so start of the month again it, it's only for european leagues it will not be for north america and the but this next leagues. card is super and then cool the other is going to be called plays of the year so now, we've had plays of the that year cards is unbelievable past, but this year we're going to actually have them release more in the moment of so basically what plays of the year are going to be like they're going to be like if someone scores a stunning goal in real life if someone scores a stunning goal in real life they will get a card and though and they won't be like a low overall card like they'll actually be like a really really cool card and uh valuable and like special like if mcdavis scores like an absolute stunning goal or someone scores like a maybe goal of the year save of the year type thing you'll get a card plays of the year which is really really awesome i think so it, it makes it uh you know instead of giving me a place of the year 97 overall at the end of the year you can kind of just give it to me and i also have new icons in the game as well so you have dan Boyle, as you can see randy carlisle chris draper simone gagne which is always nice to see uh milan hey duke as well you also have good old craig mctavish kirk malby rick nash george paros brett richardson's ryan smith zubov and osgood i'm really most excited about rick nash and probably brad richards but that is super super cool to see and they also have more icons that they haven't even announced yet they said so i love everything i heard in this and guys i just told you everything you need to know about nhl 22 hockey ultimate team okay so thank you so much for watching if you guys are new to the channel please leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel you're following me on twitch henrique instagram twitter tiktok henrique with three e's and join the discord to talk to me followers and subscribers of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching and plenty of content on the way. I'll see you in the next video.